Hello my YouTube friends. Today I am going to show you some of my craft projects related to winter and create a new project, a wool picture. This is a cross stitch embroidery picture and I finished this work in 1997. So this work is 25 years old. My mother-in-law started it but never finished and I finished and did the most portion of this embroidery. I have many trees created with beads and crystals and this one is completely white, a lot of crystals and pearls and this one white and very pale green. I have many more trees like this of different colors. On this side I have three Kimikomi ornaments in winter colors. This one is a silver one and I use beads and broken jewelry to make this ornament. In this ornament I used needle felting and embroidery techniques and I have a whole video on creation of this ornament and I will leave a link above. This ornament I created very recently and I also have a video on its creation and the link will be above. Today I am going to do another small project, a wool picture and I will use needle felting and embroidery techniques. And let me first show you my instruments and my materials. I will use this beautiful gray sheet of felt, wools of white, gray and bluish and purple color, piece of this ribbon in the form of snowflakes and cut out trees from the ribbon that I used for my kimikumi on. This is the ribbon probably use some of these threads to felt into my design. We will see. Let's start. First I traced uh, my uh, shape of the frame and I used the glass and I left edges so I can tuck them in or glue them to the back of the frame and uh, that's my working area. My next step will be to do the background for my picture using the layers of wool and then I will felt this wool into my working area. And I showed this process in my Kemi Komi video but I will briefly show it here as well. I roughly laid my wool and I will start felting and I will adjust the amount and the colors. And after 15-18 minutes of felting, my rough background is ready. And why I say rough? Because I will add more or less wool at some point and also my area will be covered with other details so I will see where I need to add more wool and felt it. My next step will be to cut a small piece of this sparkling ribbon and put it above the background and then I put a small piece of wool above the sparkling ribbon 
and I am trying to felt this wool along with the ribbon to keep it in place. This step is done and later I will sew uh, snowflakes in this area. But right now I will try to position my trees and sew them to my white background. I started to sew my first group of trees and of course first I used the lighter to work on my edges so the threads from the ribbon don't come out and now I am using the stitches and my favorite silver thread to sew them and this is the thread I am using for my lower Row, I will use individual trees and I will sew each of them. My first group of trees is sewed and now I will do additional snow using this interesting white thread. I will also try to uh, not sew this thread but to felt it. And near this group of trees, I decided to, to do a small house. I sewed another group of trees and now I will attach some individual trees around the house. And we continue doing the same to the very bottom. I attached more groups of trees and individual trees and as I said you can uh, attach or sew as many trees as you like less more it's up to you and now I will continue creating the snow more snow under the trees I, I took these balls and I cut them into pieces and now I will fill them into my design to provide additional volume and sparkling. I covered the roof of the house with a sparkling thread. This is the thread. I frame my picture and place it here on display. Thank you for watching this video. Hit the like button, write comments and subscribe to my channel. Happy Holidays!